A lot of black women say that white women want to be like black women because they get lip fillers and like things like that. So is this true? You with them, so you got to tap in. You got to answer that. I don't have anything done, so I can't. I feel like I'm probably not the person to comment. Okay, so do you, do you feel like white women who get these things done may want to be like black women? I feel like people have different reasons for like aesthetic changes and like cosmetic procedures. I feel like everyone's motive is different, you know? So do you feel like white women are insecure to, because they get these procedures? Not necessarily. I think again, like people have different reasons for like getting stuff done. So I feel like it depends on the person. And would you get any of these procedures? Like what kind of procedures? Like lip fillers, BBL, skin tans. I wouldn't personally, but like I understand why people do it. Like I have friends that have like filler and stuff, and I feel like if it's like, if you have like an insecurity about something, I feel like it's fine to. Is it really? Shouldn't, shouldn't you be happy like being who you were born to be? I don't know. Maybe I think people should just do whatever makes them happy. Really? Yeah. But what if, what if, what makes them happy in the moment makes them insecure in the long run? So shouldn't they rather just? feel comfortable being who they really are. I feel like you'd have to ask someone that's not happy with their body or situation, mm. you know? Okay, okay, that's valid. Right. I appreciate your answers. Yeah. Who is more insecure, men or women? Men. Men? Why would you say that? I don't know. I just think men are insecure. Okay, but, but don't most women, you know, like get lip fillers and BBLs and things like that, so doesn't that make women more insecure? How though? If you guys have to blow up your lips and then... Just enhancing our beauty, that's it. Is it really? Yeah. Or is it covering up who you really are? Not really. Because it's still your own skin and stuff. It's not, like with makeup too, it's not your own skin because you're covering it up. Am I right? No. It's just enhancing your beauty. Okay, so what makes men insecure? Because if you don't have anything, then they're not insecure. I don't know. I really don't know. This exactly, so... No, but yeah, <laughs> men are insecure. If she can't say why they're insecure, men are not. What are you talking about? Why do a lot of white women today want to be like black women? Well, I don't know that answer. You don't know that answer? I don't. Okay, do you know why like a lot of like white women get like BBLs and uh, yeah. skin tans and like lip fillers? I know you don't have any of that stuff, yeah. but... I think they just want to be like really cute. Honestly, whenever yeah. white women have really big butts, like it just makes yeah. them look so much hotter. Does it really? To me, it does. Um, but I mean, shouldn't they like feel happier being who they were born to be? Yeah, but in today's society, there's just so much pressure to look like your best. Mm -hmm. I just feel my best when I have a big, like, uh -huh. I don't know, it's just... How is that looking your best if you're putting something, I mean, that is, is part of your body because they take the fat from your body and just move it, but it's not naturally how you are. Yeah, that's true. So does it mean that a lot of women today might be insecure? <laughs> I think it's just today's pressures, mm. like societal pressures. How do you feel about the lip fillers? Well, I don't know, because I've never had one. <laughs> Would you ever get a lip filler? I don't think so, because I'm, I'm confident in my lips. Yes. That's good. And then, um, last one, what about makeup? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm not the best person to ask about this. Why do you put in, like, the fake hair? So I'm actually in the military, and it's hard to manage 4C hair in the military. Uh -huh. So like if I wear braids, I can put it like in a ponytail, and it's just easier to maintain. It looks like maybe the front is fake hair and the back is real, or is it all? No, it's, it's all braids. All braids. How long is your natural hair? Um, I can show you a picture. Okay. And while you find that, how long have you been wearing uh, fake hair for? For about four years. I've been in the military for four years, so I just honestly wear it until I get out. Okay, so it just makes it a little bit easier yeah, on you. To get up and just go. But the black women who wear like the wigs and the weaves, do you think they may be insecure about their natural hair? There it is. Okay, yeah, you have nice hair. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think so. I just think, you know, people just do what they want on the slits. But the thing about it is, if they were to wear their natural hair out, it'll grow how it's supposed to. Really, when you put on the wigs and the weaves, it doesn't really grow like it can. Yeah. So, like, why do they continue to keep doing that? You're not sure? No. Do you prefer women to wear their natural hair or fake hair? I'm really indifferent when it comes to hair because at the end of the day, like, you know, if you rock it, you rock it. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to press you out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be, like, doing the whole, like, pool test for, like, makeup, hair, all this shit. Because, I mean, look at my hair right now. Like, I'm thinking about getting my hair braided, and if they do a little bun at the top, it's probably going to be a little bit of an extension. So, I cannot be a hypocrite. So, that's but, I mean, what I'm saying. 
this is your natural hair, or you're gonna yeah, put so. an extension in your I hair. I mean, like, so if I were to get like braids and then like maybe maybe put like a little bun at the top, there might be some sort of extension or not. You know what I'm saying? Because my hair may not be long enough, but if it is, I mean, if it's not, then you know, we just gonna make it work. So. Okay, so you really don't have a preference on what your woman does? No, like, no, no. I mean, yeah, so my girl, she has long hair. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't really be tripping off that. But then I've, I've been with women that have had short hair. So it, it doesn't really bother me at all. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, hair is hair. You know, if you rock, if you rock the Michael Jordan, then you're good. Who, mm -hmm. who am I to hate on that? Because if you're styling, you're styling. If you got long hair, long hair don't care. So that's just right. what it is. But how do you feel about the women that be wearing, like, the lace fronts for, like, three months straight and they don't even wash their natural hair? So it's really dirty under there for us. No, no, no. We got to wash that. We got to wash that. We got to shampoo. We got to condition. Right. We got to deep condition. That's where we at with it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you got to do that. But if you got fake hair, then hey, just, just take care of it. That's all it is. Just take care of it. Why are a lot of men today insecure in their looks? I don't really have the answer to that. I'll, I'll be more specific. So a lot of men get this spray paint on their lineup. Why do they do that? I can only speak for what I know. I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, but I know it's hard not having a hairline. I have a hairline underneath <laughs> here, so like. So why do you think they do it? Do you think they might be insecure about their? No, for sure. Okay. For sure. Do, you, do you think that's the right thing to do, or should they maybe just go bald or? Do whatever works for you, bro. Whatever you makes think you so? feel good, yeah, bro. Why do you think women wear fake hair today, though? It's convenient. You said what? I said it's probably convenient. Convenient. Yeah. How? I can wear my hair like this for like six weeks. So. But can't you do your natural hair like that? I'm not getting locks in it now. Why not? They're permanent, or at least they're like semi-permanent. Oh, you want to switch it up? Yeah, I like changing my hair. Who is more insecure, men or women? Men. Men? <laughs> Why do you say that? Because they always get jealous all the time. Get jealous of what? Jealous of like, my beauty. Of, of your beauty? Yes. Why would a man be jealous of a woman's beauty? Uh, I mean, just like if I, if I'm in a relationship, like in a guys, you know, and then so guys trying to hit on me and then so they get like an easy girl like you know why do you dress up like this why do you act like this why do you hang out like without me right so does that make him insecure because he's your man so he's just looking out for you like hey if you dress this way then a lot of guys will try to come up to you and try to approach you so is is that more so protection or insecurity from the man oh, both both and their looks though who is more insecure men or women oh for looks yeah, yeah for sure women women why do you say that girls are girls like they okay. always like you know judge themselves like okay. oh my god looks this my body looks like that and then of course yeah for sure okay so that's why you think so women who like get bbls lip fillers and like makeup you think that may be because of insecurities that they have everything has a two sides man what do you mean by that it could be insecure or like they want to just look beautiful for them themselves like it could be both. so but that means they don't naturally look beautiful if they need the makeup am i right <laughs> am i right or wrong though it could be both uh, for me i don't think like you know fake things bbl leaf filler like you know they're like so long eyelashes like for me that's like Mm, it's too much for you. It's too much for me. But like you know, for others, mm -hmm. for others, you know. They, oh, they need it. They need it. So, so. a woman that, that just has no butt, she needs a BBL. If she's insecure. Don't you think she should just uh, be happy like who she was born to be? Because the thing about it is if you get a BBL, she knows in her mind that's not really her. And she knows she really has a flat butt. And now when she has kids, her kids are going to have flat booties too. And, they're, and then they're going to be insecure because they're going to be like, Mommy, how's your butt big but mine is little? It depends on like, you know, how they raise their kids. Mm. For me, I'm Asian and like, you know, I have a flat butt too. But okay. like, I'm fine for my body. I love like, in every part of my body because like, mm. my mom and my dad, and they, they treat me like a princess. And then they've been telling me, like, your personality, that's the important. Mm -hmm. Like, how, how do you look? It doesn't matter. Okay. So. You have good parents. I appreciate the interaction. You guys have a great rest of your day.